finally the moment's arrived. You're at home. Does it have an even greater buzz than last week? I think anyone that is anywhere near Alberton this week can feel a real buzz and particularly today, the day before the game, there's, there's obviously a lot happening to prepare the venue but um, yeah, there's an absolute buzz around the venue and I think interacting with Port people uh, throughout the week, uh, true excitement for a return to Alberton in our very first AFLW home game. So how's the group feel about the challenge of first game, making an impression among their own fans? Group's really excited and I think any any Port Adelaide person watching our game in round one could see that Port Adelaide brand of footy and, and our group will bait themselves in to produce that at Alberton tomorrow. Do you look to change the group? Uh, teams will come out this evening, um, but I think what you saw is, is a Port Adelaide brand of footy last week, so yeah, teams will be posted later today. Is Aaron Phillips good to go after that court last week? Aaron's good to go, obviously Corky from the tripping incident um, early in that second quarter against the Eagles and um, yeah, obviously professional athlete and knows what is required to get up for round two and, and she's done that. How did the players go through the review of the first game? What have they felt they've learned from it? There's so much learning for us from that very first game and I think from a young group perspective you learn really quickly that um, despite a really strong winning position at three quarter time, the the, uh, the game doesn't win as, win itself, and you have to you have to play four quarters. So, um, really confident in the way the groups responded and reviewed that game, and we're very much looking forward to tomorrow. So, where do the Bulldogs challenge What are they? Bring They're a good out? side. Doggies Doggies is a similar team to us. I think they've just had longer together. Um, really well led by Ali Blackburn in the middle. Um, and they like to move the ball really quickly. I think all of our all of our people that come and watch the game tomorrow are going to expect some pretty fast footy and um, similar brand, and they like to move the ball really nicely by foot, and they're, they're quite good at it. So we're looking forward to a real challenge tomorrow. What's been impressed upon you and your time here, and what you sort of has been impressed upon the players about like Alberton and Port Adelaide Football Club and what, what that means? Huge history here, <laughs> huge history. Um, I think I'll, I'll always talk and we've always talked throughout this program around Port Adelaide Way um, and being hard working, um, being humble, being genuine, being authentic and, and being a really hard team to play against and I've no doubt every single person that watched our game last week saw that. Uh, we've just got to do it for four quarters. How do you toe a line between having a, following the, the old identity of a club that old and having your own new identity of a club that's one game old? It's a good question. I think, you know, you, you embrace the history. It's 152 years of rich history. So our groups embrace that really strongly and also really aware of creating this new history of an AFLW program and I feel we're doing that really well and I'm so looking forward to tomorrow so our, our group can show on field what they're about. Transformation is up. Sorry. No, you're right. Sure. Uh, transformation's unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> just with the change rooms and now the, the coaches' box, etc. cetera, be a little sit in the coach's box and get yourself ready? I got a little look at the coach's box yesterday afternoon and it's uh, I've done a fair bit of media in the past with, with men's AFL across different states and um, those facilities are as good as, as anywhere I've been. Uh, it's amazing. And to, to keep that look and feel a heritage listed grandstand in that Foss Williams family stand is, is also incredible work. So yeah, really grateful and uh, there's been a lot of people working really hard behind the scenes to make that happen. and. Um, you know, I think anyone that, that comes to Alberton to play will, will feel that, you know, AFLW is front and centre here. Did you go through the nine free kicks in the last quarter? Was that about your players needing to understand something different or were you just as confused as they were in the end? I think we take responsibility. If, if your team's giving away that many free kicks in a, in a quarter, you, you're asking for trouble. And um, there's elements of that that we can control and we've addressed that. Have you asked the question higher up as to why some of them were paid? Oh, Roach, at this point, we're, we're worrying about ourselves and we're looking to build our brand. And um, you can, I can guarantee you that will include hard Port Adelaide football and we'll, um, we'll make sure we continue to do that. Last yep. Week. That's amazing. Is that the hard football? Yeah. About there? Yeah. Um, you talk to anyone in our group and you ask them how how do you want to play? How do you want to be known as a team? And that's a starting point. And you know you talk about the history of the football club and and who we are and, and what our players' weapons are. Um, every single team that we play against this year is going to know that they had to earn any any win or any goal. And um, yeah, 
it's a, it's a special part of our group and it's something we treasure. Yeah, I'm hearing there's only a handful of tickets left, and so I'd encourage everyone to to get their tickets today. Um, the T-shirt I'm wearing now will be handed out to all the early birds that come through the gates tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I, th I think really only a handful left now. So um, to any port supporters that are yet to purchase their ticket, I'd, I'd get onto that immediately. What can they expect, sort of atmosphere-wise? We talked about <laughs> the buzz yeah. during the week. Oh, we know our Port Adelaide crowd are, are loud and passionate and I'm so looking forward to hearing that and, and feeling it when we're here at Alberton tomorrow. What about Never Terrace Park? Yes. What do you sort of feel when you think about that moment? Uh, it gives me shivers when I when I think about the Never Terrace Apart pre-game and, um, you know, all of our group have, have been able to go and watch a number of the men's games late in the season um, throughout our pre-season and uh, they'll hold it dearly as well. We, we've got a large group of young players with huge, huge potential. Abby's one of those, and for her to be recognised in what she was able to perform at the level that she was able to perform last week is is important. And what's more important for Abby and the rest of her teammates now is to build consistency in that. And from a young player's perspective, that's the most important thing is Abby set a standard now that she's capable of, and I'm looking forward to her building consistency throughout the season. When you want an image of her teams feel when they play Port, how do you want them to feel when they come to Alberta? I think it's really similar, Roots. You'd, you'd know that the feeling that Port Adelaide wants to build is, obviously we've got first class facilities for AFLW, which we're really proud of. Um, we also know on field um, we're going to play exceptionally hard footy and fair footy. So how does the crowd help you out in that? <laughs> I'm just looking forward to, to the passion and the noise from our Port Adelaide faithful tomorrow and uh, getting behind every bump, every goal, um, every ball up. It's going to be it's going to be unreal. I was just going to ask you about Maria Maloney. Um, it's great to give her you know another sort of shot at the AFLW yeah. as well. She did really well in that midfield on the weekend. Maria is someone who is just the epitome of resilience and team. And so she sets the standard. Yet last week she set a standard on field and every day sets a standard off field, um, you know, professional in every sense. And also I was fortunate enough to play alongside her at Brisbane and um, I knew as soon as this job was in the works she was, she was a player that would be important in building culture at our club. And to see and to provide Marie the opportunity to perform and, and she's been preparing to perform at that level for years now. Um, she's just been behind a premiership midfield at, at Brisbane. So, you know, it's one, another beautiful thing about AFLW expanding is there's there's a, a lot of quality players ready to go who are sitting, you know, mid to back end of AFLW lists and our club's been able to provide a, a high level athlete with wonderful culture um, and opportunity to perform and, and that's what she's doing.